All right, in this video, I wanna show you a cool feature in MO2 where we're going to use an object as our distribution shape in an instancer. We can actually take primitives in MO2 and use those as our distribution shape for our instancer. So I have a sphere, that's a primitive in MO2. I have a cube, that's a primitive. And then I have this object here. For those of you that have purchased the fluid pack, I do have a third update to that. Well over 100 objects in the fluid pack now. With this update, there are 10 new objects. These can kind of mimic a viscous or thick fluid, but that's what I have right here. And what I want to do with this object, I want to instance it over, say, this sphere here. Well, check this out. I want to go into my instancer, down here for the distribution shape, make sure it's set to object, and let's drag that sphere into the well. Now, nothing happens because we don't have anything to instance. So I'll take this fluid effect here, I'm going to drop that into the instancer, give it a second to load, and now this looks crazy, doesn't it? Well, let's make a couple of changes. Let's go to our sphere. Let's make its radius bigger. I'm going to set it to somewhere around 5. I'm going to take my camera, and I'm going to zoom on out even more, maybe 15. Probably wouldn't hurt to make my sphere a little bit bigger. So setting the radius up to 10. And now we can see that object get an instance multiple times, many, many, many times over this sphere. Let's take the camera and go out even further. Now, there's a bunch of things that we can do with this. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sphere itself. We can reduce the number of times this object appears on this sphere by going down to the segments and reducing it. I'm going to knock it down to 20. Now we have a lower amount of objects getting instanced on this sphere. And essentially what this is, is the segments. Think of it as a bunch of polygons making this sphere. And if we reduce the number of segments, if I unhide the sphere, you can kind of see how it's jagged. It's getting more and more jagged along the edges. If I lower this down to say five, now you can clearly see we do have a bunch of polygons that make up this sphere. And what's happening is that object is getting instanced on every vertice of this sphere. Let's raise that back up, maybe 20. Hide the sphere. Something else we can do is we can change the sphere type. I'm going to go with the icosahedron. Now they look evenly spaced by us changing that sphere type. But that's not all I want to show you. Notice these objects that are getting instanced are all facing upward. Well, if we go to our instancer and we come on down to the instancer settings and check align clone, now they are facing different directions. Not only that, we can make them face in a certain direction of the vertice by changing this rotation Z here. Let me set that to 90 degrees. Now they're all facing outward in the direction technically of what that vertice is pointing at, I guess you could say. And with that said, let's check out another primitive. Let's check out the cube. Let's drag the cube in here. Now the cube is small, so let's go into the cube settings. I'm gonna make the length of X, Y, and Z all 10 for this cube. I'm going to raise up the segments to say five segments on both the X, Y, and Z. So we're getting more instances, but our corners look a little bit jacked up. It looks a little bit mushed. Take my camera, get a little bit closer. And really what's happening here is we have both of those objects sitting on top of each other at these corners and along the edges of our cube. We can quickly fix that by going to the cube and let's disable the rounding down here. So checking on rounding and uncheck the enable box. Now we have an individual object on technically every vertice, every piece or segment of this cube. I'm going to add another object to my instancer. And from the fluid pack three, I'm going to add that tent object there. It's big. Let's reduce its size. Not to scale down to something like 0.2. And let's drag that onto our instancer. So now we have two different objects getting instanced on this cube. Now one word of warning. Technically speaking, we could take any of our objects that are built into MO2 and we can use that as our object like I have done the sphere and the cube, but don't get too crazy with it. For example, if I were to come down here to motion graphics, abstract one, and I tried this swirl, I'm probably going to lock MO2 up. Now I need to take that out of my instancer, but technically speaking, what we could do inside of this instancer, we could take that swirl drag it right there, and it would take these two objects, these two splashes or fluid effects, and it would instance it over that swirl. 
I'm not going to do it because I'm almost certain this thing has uh, probably hundreds of thousands of vertices and it probably would lock MO2 up. So be careful with that. But uh, yeah, there you have it. You can take objects in MO2, just like I did the sphere and the cube, these primitives, and setting your distribution shape of your instancer to object and dragging that object inside of there, you can get some really cool effects. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.